chess lovers this is Adit today I'll be talking about the London system which starts with the move d4 and f6 and bf4 now if black plays d5 then also you play bishop f4 which is almost the same thing so black usually plays knight f6 over here e3 and c5 c3 knight c6 knight d2 e6 bishop d3 bishop e7 and knight f3 note that if you play knight f3 before there is a slight problem in that so knight c6 c3 and now black has a good move which is queen b6 so queen c1 is just very passive for white b3 will weaken the pawn structure in the queen on the queen side queen b3 is a critical move now c4 if queen a3 then pawn e5 now the only other way to defend the b2 pawn is by playing queen c2 but now black has a good tactic which is bishop to f5 if queen into f5 then queen into b2 and the rook is just gone now similar with queen b3 there's queen c2 and on queen c2 bishop f5 will run into the same thing now white will have to play queen c1 and then after e6 black is better so yeah play c3 first and after knight c6 bishop d3 pawn e6 knight d2 e7 knight f3 and this is basically the random system so the random system is what i call uh, not a system but a pawn structure which is the pawn on c3 d4 and e3 and a bishop on f4 bishop on d3 knight d2 knight f3 so the basic plans of the land system uh, are to play knight e5 bishop g3 and f4 this is one plan then there is another plan to play knight e5 queen f3 and queen h3 making threats on the h7 pawn basically i think that white shouldn't castle too early in this opening because we may launch a attack by playing g4 and h4 so now i'll show you a few games on the random system but what the first game i'll show you is by blackburn as white and harmonist as black so the game starts with knight f3 d5 d4 knight f6 bf4 we uh as i told you before c5 would have given would would have been better for black but he instead just played e6 e3 bishop e7 bishop d3 and now castle i personally say that castling is a mistake like maybe black should just wait before committing his king so knight d2, pawn b6, knight e5, bishop b7, queen to f3 as I told you one of the ideas. Now c5, c3, knight d7 and the idea continues queen to h3. Now g4 is in air. Rook e8, knight d2 f3 bringing the second knight in and maybe n something like a uh, knight into f7 is threatening is being threatened now knight e4 knight into d7 queen into d7 knight e5 qd8 now f3 knight f6 now there are two good moves over here one is just g4 which is a good move i mean threatening g5 how will you stop it i think on h6 bishop into h6 seems just winning because after pawn into h6 queen into h6 g5 is really tough to stop if the knight moves then say knight d7 then there's queen h7 check queen h8 mate so now g4 is yeah so on g4 i think g6 is the best way to st stop the bishop 
but then just bishop b5 rook f8 and bishop h6 winning an exchange though this line wins the exchange but i personally prefer the move knight g4 it is it gives a lot more attacking options like same over here if h6 then bishop into h6 g into h6 and queen into h6 wins threatening knight into f6 next move yeah so if yeah g6 then a good move over here is to play bishop b5 knight d7 knight h6 king g7 and now i want you to pause the video and find white black white's next move i hope you found the move now the move is knight into f7 and harmonious just got fried bishop h4 check no bishop g3 note king into f7 will lead to queen into h7 check and if king f8 then bishop h6 is a mate and like king f6 will lead to mate in five moves so maybe bishop into d7 over here and if queen to d7 bishop check g4 check and h4 mate yeah so bishop h4 check mm. yeah so bishop h4 check over here now bishop to g3 king f7 bishop h4 queen c8 and white has a bishop pair uh, and white is also a pawn up and now he just castles simply to lead a good game now over here bishop into d7 queen into d7 bishop e5 doesn't offer black much hope either so now i'll move on to my next game which is between laurent uh, as white and drixby as black so now let me just set the game options yeah so the game started with d4 d5 bf4 knight f6 e3 and bishop f5 another setup so c4 diverting from the london setup c6 knight c3 e6 going into a kind of slough and now white plays queen b3 and now black played the move queen c8 it's i think this move is very passive and white just took a quick advantage by playing rook c1 and now black again played passively by the a6 so black was just worried about tactics ba based on knight b5 so he just played a6 to prevent that but and this is due to the unfortunate position of the queen so now white just played well up with knight f3 knight d7 h3 one of the important skills to develop for London players is to get a feel for the correct timing for h3 and also knowing when h3 is not necessary a lot of like in one one of my games i just played h3 randomly without any without there being any threat and i just got my london bishop exchanged which is the bishop on f1 and then my light squares were really weak and i eventually lost that game so yes so h3 bishop e7 and bishop e2 castle n h4 b g6 castle d into c4 n into g6 now a tactic now if pawn into c4 pawn into b3 knight into e7 check and knight into c8 where 
black is a lot of material down. He has a knight into g6, 8 into g6, and now bishop into c4. Now let's look at the assets in white's position. So white has emerged from the opening with three considerable, considerable strategic pluses. One is a bishop pair, two a bigger pawn center, and three is a central space advantage. Now king h7. Now this move is a sure sign that black is having trouble coming up with a defensive plan. Now e4, taking the center. But I, it is important to prevent black from untangling on the queen side with b5, queen b7 and c5. He can do this by playing bishop d3, maintaining the blind bind. Since if black insists on b5 then knight e4, queen b7, knight g5 check. So I'll just show this to you. Now instead of playing e4, bishop d3, b5, knight e4, qb7, knight g5 check, king g8, and now a really good move, knight into e6, f into e6, queen into e6 check, rook f7, and bishop into g6 just wins. So after e4, yeah so now after e4 b5 bishop e2 c5 now seizing his chance to fight back d to c5 now white is just losing all of his advantages knight into c5 queen c2 and maybe now this position is quite equal but b4 knight a4 knight into e4 now black is close to equalizing this position but mm, just a second sorry i made a mistake so now it's knight into e4 and now queen into c8 rook f into c8 now knight b6 rook into c1 rook into c1 rook d8 bishop into a6 missing black threat so bishop e3 was maybe better uh a5 and now rook c7 knight g8 rook a7 bishop f6 knight c4 would keep black under pressure knight c5 now after bishop into a6 after bishop into a6, black played knight c5. Now he retained he returns the favor. Now black just missed a win over here with the move bishop c5. How would you stop with f how do you stop a threat on f2 and b6? Now I really can't believe that this is a game of grandmasters because if there are so, so many threats being missed, then I don't I don't have anything to say. Like, this just can't be a grandmaster game. Now, like after bishop c5, maybe knight c8 was the best. And bishop into f2, king f1, knight h5. Now, everything is just coming in. Bishop h2, rook d2. Now, bishop e2 is forced. And rook into b2. And white is just over. So, but black missed the threat. Now, black missed the tactic and he played the move knight c5. So, bishop c4. And now, knight d3. Bishop into d3, rook into d3. Bishop e3, knight d Now, knight d5 knight d5 rook d5 and this ending is slightly better for white and i won't show you the whole end game because i really have less time but white is slightly better now though the material is equal the b4 pawn is a good asset and 
his queen side majority came and white utilized his queen side majority to win the game now i'll show you third and last game uh bit bit and this is like one of my favorite games of the london system now it's hard to believe such a natural move can that such a game can be seen up can be deemed dubious but strange things are possible in a ripka and fritz power world now the game started with d4 knight f6 bf4 e6 e3 c5 c3 knight c6 knight f3 d d5 knight d2 b d6 b g3 castle bishop d3 queen to e7 knight e5 knight d7 now you can see now i'll keep the engine on right now the best move over her fifth shows is knight knight into d7 well this is correct knight into d7 but now i like to say that this move is totally illogical but strong white trades a piece he has moved 3 times for his counterpart which is only moved twice this and white's next few moves are um, an amazing discovery in the london white basically makes four totally illogical moves in a row and gets a gets a winning attack now bishop into d7 and now the engine just showed a minus 0.03 for for white i but i want you to find white's next move please pause the video i hope you found the answer well as i said a totally illogical move which is bishop into d6 white swaps a bishop which has moved 3 times for a black bishop which has moved only once queen into d6 and now find illogical move number number 3 well it is just giving up the pawn center with pawn into c5 now what is going on is why just is why just groveling for the draw versus a high rated gm now black displayed queen into c5 simply grabbing the pawn thinking that nothing is going to happen but then pre demonstrated a uh, awesome sacrifice which is bishop into h7 king into h7 now queen h5 check king g8 and white utilizes the lateral pin on the d pawn to introduce another attacker the knight enters g5 can you possibly guess how well by the rule of knight e4 now if pawn takes e4 then queen into c5 and now i don't have anything to say so knight e4 queen c4 knight g5 rook f d8 so this is basically forced now if the move queen d3 comes over here, then e4 and black king is busted so yeah so now if over here, now rook d8 and then there is um queen into f7 check king h8 queen h5 check king g8 now queen to f7 check queen to f7 check again king h8 and a good move h4 knight e5 queen to h5 check king g8 and now white just introduced another attacker by casting long the rook on d1 is will this be a really good attacker now now this is just great attacking judgment black can't master enough threats to seriously bother 
white skin now queen into a2 uh, then there is queen to h7 check king f8 queen h8 king e7 now after king e7 there is queen into g7 check king d6 and knight e4 check king c6 queen into e5 queen a1 check king guess where the king will go well you've already seen it so king d2 now queen into b2 check and just king to e1 and white his after b6 sorry white has regained the sacrificed piece and he just continues the assault now black can't even think of touching the knight with the pawn into e4 because of rook d6 check king c7 and maybe and maybe just rook d2 picking up the queen now just a minute let me just open to the original position yes so b6 and now knight d6 a good move threatening knight f7 followed by queen d6 check so queen to a3 pawn to c4 queen b4 check rook d2 queen c5 now now h5 uh, if in this position white would have played black would have played mm -hmm. queen to queen check yeah rook d2 queen h1 queen d1 check then maybe king e2 is just winning queen into h1 c into d5 check king c7 everything is forced knight e8 check then king b7 uh, queen c7 check king a6 rook a2 check king b5 and basically black king is done throughout the board knight d6 kb4 and qc4 mate mm, just a minute so where were we um, Yeah, so b6 um, and uh, rook d2 and now uh, queen c5 now h5 now a this is a move which emphasizes black's helplessness <coughs> The h pawn moves closer to the queen square and also open the, opens up the possibility of activating the rook via h4. Now, don't look at the engine which says queen to d6 because it, it because then the queen just drops and the h pawn is too good. Like the comp engine stalls something, and if you play it as humans, then you would not like the position. The engines are engines like humans can't be as accurate as engines. If queen to d6, then the engine will play accurately, but can you? Because it will be a really hard position to defend. Bishop e8, c into d5, e cross d5, and knight f5, and black resigns. So black had, has had enough. The h pawn continues up the board, the knight dominates, and white is up a pawn, and the attack continues. So I'll be ending my video now. Now, I hope you like the video and I, w 